If I had stayed on the same path that I was on, searching for a cure, a human cure for my disease of alcoholism, I'm quite sure I'd be dead. And just the fact that I'm still alive is a miracle. I think I'd already admitted to the fact that I was an alcoholic. I, uh, and I was out searching for the, the way out of this disease. And I was gonna find, you know, through, through willpower, through psychiatrists, psychologists, through uh, halfway houses, treatment programs. I mean, I would tried it all. But there was nothing that was, gonna re was relieving this alcoholism and, 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 and the, the urge to drink had, had, would never go away. And so if I wasn't physically drunk, I was thinking about drinking. So I became homeless in, in July of 97. For safety purposes, I was spending some nights in uh, the port portable bathrooms, the, the um, porta potties, yeah, downtown St. Paul. I ran into somebody that told me to come down to the Union Gospel Mission. And uh, again, and talk about denial and talk about uh, pride, I thought to myself, well, that's no place for me. I mean, that's where, that's where ho homeless drunks go. Everybody has a bottom. Unfortunately, some people die in the process of finding that bottom. There's people that die from this disease all the time. But that's what I needed to do. I needed to find a bottom and, and uh, get to a point of, of surrender, of giving up and saying, I can't do this anymore. I've tried willpower. I've tried everything in the world to relieve me of my alcoholism and nothing was working. It's time to, to, it's time to surrender. Um, and the Christ Recovery Center at the Union Gospel Mission was, was the vehicle to help me in my recovery process, to start to turn my life around. First of all, to, to give up on the alcohol and, and be in a safe, warm, comfortable place with good meals and a, and a chance to, to, to just get, get off the earth for a while, so to speak. Um, it was the vehicle for me to to start turning my will in my life over to the care of God, to uh, a relationship with a higher power, and understanding that I needed that help. January 6th um, was my seven years of sobriety, and uh, we celebrate. I, I celebrate all my, you know, all my, all the pins that I've gotten. Uh, the I celebrate my sobriety dates here at the Christ Recovery Center, at the Union Gospel Mission, at the Sing Along. Um, my family comes. Um, I have friends that show up. All these people that I pretty much thought I'd lost in my life because of where I had been and what I had done um, are back in my life today. I uh, was truly blessed this past year. Um, got married about a month ago to a, a wonderful woman, Debbie. I met her at the Christ Recovery Center at a sing-along. If I had stayed on the same path that I was on, searching for a cure, a human cure for my disease of alcoholism, I'm quite sure I'd be dead. Um, every day of my sobriety is a gift from God. I look, I look back to, to the Learning Center and think of, of, of how that, that whole process of living out in the streets and how foul my mouth had gotten and that wasn't tolerated at the school. I don't curse or swear anymore. Those are things that I learned at the school. I learned to become a better person. And I learned some great skills. And then, of course, was talked into going into the WorkNet program. And I had had a horrible work history. I had been fired from a lot of jobs because of my drinking. I had been fired from a job because I stole from the company. Um, so I had a horrible work history. But WorkNet helped me to get some basic skills to go out and look for a job, but more important, it, it helped me to take my past and put it where it belongs, in the past.